Welcome back to How to Souls. My name is Rach and today we're going to look at how to upgrade your weapons in Dark Souls Remastered. So to do this you will need a blacksmith. Later on in the game you will be able to do it yourself just at bonfires but uh, for now you know we're right at the start. We don't know how to upgrade. We're going to go down and we're going to see Andre. Now he is in the Undead Parish. It's just after you've done the Undead Burg, you've done the Tauros Demon Boss and you've passed the Hellkite Drake Bridge. Uh, you come down here and you can hear him hammering away. So there are a few different upgrade materials. Allow me to just quickly tap this. Uh, in this game to upgrade a weapon, you will need both of these materials and also souls to be able to upgrade weapons. So if we just go and say hi to him, he's very, he's very polite. Um, as you can see, this can be a little bit overwhelming if you don't know what everything means. Um, at the top is modify equipment. Now, don't worry about this right at the start of the game, but if you're wondering how modifying equipment works, basically it's for taking a weapon from plus five to plus six and beyond, or plus 10 to plus 11 and beyond. Um, or it's for making a weapon uh, infused. So like, for example, with divine or with lightning, magic, fire, etc so that's what um modify does oh also if you're making a, a boss weapon so if you've got a boss soul uh that's all done through modify equipment but not at this blacksmith that's done at the giant blacksmith in Anor Londo. uh so don't worry about modify uh just yet for now we're just sort of learning how reinforcing works so reinforce weapon is how you basically how you upgrade your weapon so each weapon can get to plus five some can go some stop there like special weapons stop there for example the black knight sword if you manage to get one of those um but most like sort of normal weapons they will go to plus 15 and then of course you will need to find special embers in order to upgrade your blacksmith so he can get your weapon to plus 15 but but for now at its basic level you will need souls as you can see on the top right there different weapons require different amounts of souls sort of depending on like how special the weapon is uh, for example the claymore here there's only one in the game 400 souls to level straight swords hilt not that special uh 100 souls so these all use titanite shard of which i do have one because i did pick up one in the game um but special weapons will use uh twinkling titanite which is much harder to find you'll find this by killing crystal lizards if you've seen any of these little twinkly blue boys do try and tr like chase them down and kill them if you don't manage, if you miss them, you can quit and like reload the game and the crystal lizard will reload until you're able to kill it. Don't worry if not missed out. But yeah, do make sure you kill those for Twinkling Titanite because if you do come across like special weapons later on in the game, uh, Twinkling Titanite is less easy to get than Titanite Shard. Titanite Shard you can just buy. In fact, you can buy them by going to purchase item and Andre sells them for 800 souls each. So we'll go ahead and pick up a couple of these. Um, they're expensive, but they're, you know, leveling up your weapon is way more effective than leveling up your character. That's how you're going to do loads more damage in this game. So I'm going to be looking to level this Uchi Katana. So we reinforce it, which makes it a plus one. And we're going to get this to plus two. And if I want to get it to plus three, I need one more Titanite shard. So let me just quickly do that. And then reinforce to plus three so as you can see the damage has gone up like hugely <laughs> when we get it to plus five we will need to find the large ember to go any further but at its basic level that is how you upgrade weapons you'll need titanite shards and you'll need souls and a blacksmith uh he sells under keys here the weapon smith box and the armor smith box so armor it works the same as uh, as leveling weapons it needs titanite shards and some of them use twinkling uh, some armor can't be upgraded um but but most can uh, so you can buy these they're really expensive at this stage in the game uh, so i wouldn't recommend buying these until you're ready to like go to like sense fortress and beyond because no matter where you are at this like sort of early stage in the game you'll always be able to probably like get back to andre quite quickly so i would not drop four thousand souls on these until you're like ready to move on, I would say, to the mid game. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. If you want, you can um, 
Obviously you can farm. Certain enemies have like higher chances to drop Titanite shards if you don't have enough runes to buy them. I've got a video up here for a nice early effective uh, runes. Listen to me, I've been playing too much Elden Ring. For a nice early soul farming method, if you did want to just get loads of souls and use those to buy lo loads of Titanite shards, get your weapon to plus five and you are laughing. You will just smash the gargoyles, no bother. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it was coherent. If you'd like more uh, videos like this from the very basics right up until proper like expert strategies uh you can subscribe to this channel i cover all sorts of souls games uh because i love them and i love you so let's just put it all together <laughs> right i'll see you later take care